And now we do the fun part. The fun part. Watch the movie. Mm -hmm. Hello everyone and welcome into today's reaction video where I watch Smokey and the Bandit from 1977 for the very first time featuring my dad as my first in-person guest here on the channel. The reason that we are doing a voiceover introduction for this reaction is because my dad and I recorded an intro but did the audio save for it? No, it did not. So editor KL is here to provide the intro for this reaction for you. The reason my dad is joining me for this movie today is because I put up a poll on my YouTube channel last month and I asked my dad to pick four movies for that poll and he picked four movies from the 70s from his childhood. He picked Smokey and the Bandit, Deliverance, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, and The Rocky Horror Picture Show. Jackie Gleason, I don't know if I know that actor. Yeah, maybe not. And he said that depending on which movie won, he may come down and join me for it. So... Because Smokey and the Bandit won, my dad was like, yep, I'll come join you because I haven't watched that movie in a very long time. My dad said he has seen bits and pieces on TV over the years, but it's been a long time since he's actually sat and watched it from start to finish. So he is just as excited as I was to watch this movie together. And we just want to thank you so, so much for joining us. And if you want my dad to join me for some more movies, please let us know in the comments. And I think my mom and my brother would also both be interested in coming on the channel. I know my brother is for sure, so. I like the design on the trailer. Yeah, a guy lately has redone this entire truck. Oh, really? Yeah. If you would want to see more of my immediate family on the channel, Please also let us know. Otherwise, thank you so, so much for being here today. Thank you for watching and thank you to everyone subbed on the channel. Thank you to everyone on Patreon as well for the support. And with that, I will let you get back to the reaction. He's going up to glory riding 18 weeks. Good song. Catchy. That's your rig, son? Yeah. Let's see the manifest. He doesn't look like a truck driver. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> And that means, you dumb cowboy, you know truck and Coors beer east of Texas is bootlegging? So he can't transport beer to certain states? Yeah, well, you actually can't in Canada either. You're not supposed to. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> There's a big right? difference between a case in your car and a truckload. Well, yeah, fair enough. A race? Yep. Oh, I love these outfits. <laughs> <laughs> behind this bandit. I ain't seen him. Over there behind his rig. Because I'm the guy paying him $25 a day. $25. I'm going to do the conversion for the YouTube edit so that I know how much that is today. <laughs> oh, I love the guy with the red suspenders. Bandit, me and my son are here. Oh, so he's Bandit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love your suits. It must be a bitch getting a size 68 extra fat and a 12 dwarf. I came to make a deal. Just what the hell you want anyway? You to get out of this dumbass rodeo and accept a real challenge. Now get the Texarkana and back in 28 hours. That's no problem. Why do you want that beer so bad? Because he's thirsty, dummy. <laughs> 400 cases. Well, let me see your cash. 400 cases of beer. I'll need the cash for that. No problem. Go ahead, boy. New car. I got to have a new car to block for the truck, you know? And what else? <laughs> Speedy car. Speedier than that. <laughs> Just give him all the money at this point. Yeah. Just from that one scene, I now understand why people want Pedro to play him. Because yes. they do have similarities in yeah. how they speak, even. You can't have him. Well, obviously you can. What are you trying to do? Start another race? <laughs> Please. No. What the hell do we want to go to Texas for and haul beer back here? What is that? For the good old American life. And for money. money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the fun. For the money. Mostly for the money. We're going to buy a new rig. By the way, how much money did you say it was? dollars <laughs> The way he said that. Well, that would have been a lot of money back then. <laughs> I'll do the conversion for that, too. It's only 900 miles there, 900 miles back. That ain't never been done, not no rig. You gotta stop thinking so negative, son. I see our ass in a swing if we get caught. That's what I see. And there's the fire chicken. What brand of car is it? Or make? That's a Trans Am. Firebird. <laughs> now, you know them Smokies, they got them CBs in a car now. You know that. Right? I know that. I know that. I haven't worked that out yet, but I'm thinking about it. What does that mean? CBs, the radios they talk. Oh. If we stayed on the uh, odd channels, right? Yeah. Switched every time and started in the basement, that'd work too. Huh? Right? So they gotta try and hide their communications yes, from, from everyone the, else. Yes, everyone else and the police. Gotcha. No big deal. <laughs> so after this movie came out, that was a big selling car. Oh, I bet. There's some men now that are trying to bring back the flared pants from the 70s. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't mind them. <laughs> <laughs> How come we doing this? Well, why not? 
Well, they said it couldn't be done. Well, that's the reason, son. That's good with Fred. We're clear. <laughs> and four. I love the accents. Bert's got nice lips, too. So, this song that's playing right now, mm -hmm. the guy driving the truck is the writer and the singer. Oh, cool. Yeah. And the idea of having him in the car, like you said, he's the blocker. Mm -hmm. So he's the one that's going to take all the police so he can keep going at full speed. Ah, uh, makes sense. Because the cops are going to want to chase him instead of the big truck. Right. I'm excited to see how Sally fits into this, or her character. The trailers always used to have designs like that on them, or? There was a lot more personal trailers back then. Oh, okay. It wasn't always just branded. No. Hello there, Smokey. Sneaky. And you gotta think, back in the 70s, there's no daytime running lights. Right. So if your vehicle was on, you could turn off all your lights. You were dark. Right. <laughs> Uh-oh, what did he just do? <laughs> <laughs> I hope me and you ain't let Bandit talk us into something we're gonna be sorry for, son. Cause he's about as crazy as you are ugly. <laughs> no, he's not ugly. <laughs> so when he said Smokey, is that what they called the Highway Patrol? Yes. Okay. <laughs> that was a short 900 miles. <laughs> <laughs> well, they don't have the beer yet. <laughs> and of course, the Coors Dock is right on the main street beside other businesses. Of course. When did Coors, when was Coors founded? Long time ago. Oh, okay. Long, long. So it's not like they're new? No. In the 70s. Okay. Damn it, it's locked. You know, we're about an hour ahead of schedule. Well, let's keep it that way, huh? All right. How long with this? You can't drive a fork, man. I don't know I can drive any fork and thing around. Where is Bonnie? Where is I thought it was funny. You just leave a note, tell the folks to send the bill to Big Enos Burdett. Burdett, B. Oh, no. <laughs> B-R-B-U-R. B. Hell, I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're about 28 minutes ahead of schedule. Come back. I hate to say I told you so. Well, now, don't lose your head, son. We still got a lot of boogieing to do. Now, put the pedal to the metal. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to get married. Terrific. That makes two of us. Will you unzip me? There she is. Mm -hmm. Does this thing move? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That headpiece, though. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> we are a bride in search of a wedding. No? There, there is a wedding in search of a bride. What are you doing? These are my shoes. Oh, yeah. And these are my legs. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a professional. Well, in that case, you shouldn't be dressed in white. Dancer. Oh. <laughs> what are we doing now? Well, I am getting my clothes, you fool. She's really making herself at home. Are we really going 110? Uh -huh. We're going 110. Miles? Yep. Yeah. Per hour? Nope, miles. Not, not kilometers. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> That's Jackie Gleason. Ah, okay. He was a big TV actor. Oh, okay. And well, movies. Shows us and in. movies, yeah. Sure, put me on the spot. Sorry. <laughs> oh. That's a son. Oh, I was just about to ask if that was the husband. <laughs> or the... That is the groom. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I wasn't sure. Is he wearing two ties? No, that's uh, the style back. Oh, just the way it was tied. Yeah. You look tied, boy. Rest yourself. Rest yourself. <laughs> you punks look tucked out, too. A lady in a wedding gown. Yes, sir. Get in a car. Yes, sir. See who's driving? No, no, sir. Georgia plates. Band one. And don't play with yourself. <laughs> it wouldn't look nice on my highway. You do what you want. I I'm staying right here. That's exactly like kids today. I like how they just knew to turn around. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd you get that seat cover, son? Oh, no, so this ain't night, no seat cover. One night it was my costume with the light bulb on it, of you Arabia. know, and... <laughs> Oh my god, the lights on top look so funny. <laughs> she insulted my town. She insulted my son. Does he talk? <laughs> A little look, bit. What if we oh, there we go. <laughs> she insulted my body. Blew up on the side of the road, and then I ended up in this goddamn airplane. What do you do? I don't remember. Come back, Bandit. Bandit? Is that your name or your profession? That's my handle. Bo's my real name. What's your name? Carrie. 
Hey, is she wearing a wedding dress? <laughs> Was. <laughs> Tell me what that one's got on. Or mine? <laughs> Decorating up a whole town at a cost of $40. If only weddings still cost $40. Yeah. So tell me about yourself. What do you want to know, my son? <laughs> no, I mean, uh, what do you do besides drive fast? Have fun. Uh, driving, talking to me. Well, they're both a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a great profile. <laughs> yeah, I do, don't I? They're always taking a pee. Mm hmm. He's taking a 10-100. Well, at least it's better than a 10-200. Smokey. Smokey. I like that she doesn't seem to care about where he's going. No. She's just along for the ride. Just get me away from the wedding. Yep. Is this fun? I forgot to tell you. I'm a running blocker for 400 cases of illegal proof. Oh, no. Oh dear. It seems like this was the time before stunt people. Like it looks like those two yeah. in the car the whole time. And 100. Oh, it's better than 10, <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <laughs> They're cute. Break a breaker to the bandit. My handle is Smokey Bear and I'm tail grabbing your ass right now. Damn, it's a Texas Mountie. What the hell is he doing in Arkansas? I don't know. <laughs> Not my fault. Smoke much? <laughs> no. <laughs> Just started. <laughs> Look, be careful. You're going to have to make your own lane, buddy. Because you've definitely got some all kind of traffic. You want a handle? Okay, I'll think one up for you. Just a minute here. I see. Oh, I got one for you. What? Uh, just give me a minute here. <laughs> Frog. Because you're always hopping around, and you're kind of cute like a frog, and I'd like to jump you. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> Yikes. All she ain't gonna believe is <laughs> that crazy somebody's just trying to drive right up under my truck. Sure. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Playing ignorant. Is a complete lack of respect for the law. <laughs> Did you say you are a sheriff? That's a big ten four. You know, of course, that you're out of your jurisdiction. But I'm in a high-speed pursuit. The fact that you are a sheriff is not germane to the situation. The goddamn Germans got nothing to do with it. <laughs> Set up a roadblock. I believe we have the situation well under control, Sheriff. This guy's so chill. Uh, my handle's Silver Tongue Devil, and I'm here to tell you your fellow CBers are mighty proud of you out there. Come on. Well, thank you, son. I just rolled past a county mountain roadblock down there. You are a silver tongue devil. Well, you keep your wheels spinning and the beavers grinning, oh. huh? I'm out. <laughs> he can just go around. I understand. He lures them away. <laughs> Did you see that? They went right through our roadblock. You some bitches couldn't close an umbrella. <laughs> well, he didn't technically go through the roadblock. <laughs> no. <laughs> the thing is, too, this is all before CGI. Right. Everything's practical. Yeah. So you notice on the road, you'll always see multiple skid marks for where they filmed it more than one time. Oh, I didn't notice. <laughs> yeah. You wreck this car, it's going to come out of your pay. Yeah, but Sheriff, he's getting away. Son, he's not going anywhere. The Mulberry Bridge has been dismantled for the past six months. Why don't you just drop me off here? I'll catch a cab. Too late now. <laughs> That's good for your legs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had a feeling they were probably going to jump in. But yeah, if they were to hit something, her legs yeah. would it would not be good. <laughs> See? <laughs> I didn't wreck it, Sheriff. Mm. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I want to jump something else. I want to jump a house. I want to jump something. Well, jump me. <laughs> Snowman, are you out there, son? I'm up here doing what I'm supposed to be doing. What are y'all doing back there? He and his sheen. Come back. Now we're playing little bridge. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna drop the little dolly here off at a choke and puke. Look at a little thin in the skin. You got him. Choke and puke. Okay, what's a choke and puke? You'll see. No. There you go. A bar. No, a restaurant. Restaurant. When you eat, sometimes you choke. Then if it's not very good, you puke. 
<laughs> Such a weird name for a restaurant. That's not the name of the restaurant. That's no, I know the term, but like I haven't, I haven't peeked at a restaurant. <laughs> a bar makes more sense. Like back in the seventies, so though, that's all the trucker slang for everything, right? right? No, now they all just talk on telephone. Cell phones. Cell phones. Yes. No, oh, they don't use a radio They're anymore. Very few. You're gonna be all right. Yeah, she's pretty young. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm always all right. She's aged very well, though. This must have been one of her first movies. How much owe you, ma'am? Dollar and a half. Dollar and a half. Two burgers and an iced tea. I wish. I also miss when things came in the foil. Yeah. The foil bags. Let me have a Diablo sandwich, a Dr. Pepper, <laughs> make it fast. I'm in a goddamn hurry. <laughs> you some bitch. It's all some bitch. Mm -hmm. You must be in a hell of a hurry, huh, Sheriff? Bet your ass on that boy. Somebody chasing you? I would chase my goddamn maniac all the way from Bank robber? Big baby. Bank robber and his baby get alongside of what this dude is doing. Knocking down mailboxes, got a broad in the car, took across the state line, got the man out, and that's getting him. No, I think she consented. Let me pay. No, 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 you're an officer of the law. I'd 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 be honored. Much obliged. Where's the can? I gotta take the squirt. I'll ride back there. Just one. <laughs> we know my car. She's Come driving now. Oh, Chuck Justice is in there. I know, I know. I just paid for his meal. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Where was it attached onto? His glasses. Oh my god. <laughs> Says I didn't want to be dumped at any old truck stop. I wanted to stay with you and I needed an excuse. Aww. I feel like she's about to impress him. They had so much time to get away. And his hood's not dented anymore. See? Or when they hit the car off the bridge. Oh. <laughs> no continuity. All right, hold it. Okay. Stuck here. Wait, wait. This wait. is not working. Damn it. Uh -huh. I saw him do it in movies. <laughs> <laughs> well, it can fit underneath, right? Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, the top came off. No shit. This father-son relationship, it feels like he's always the, sh the shot caller. Yes. And the kid just is like, okay, dad, yeah. whatever you say. I'm still trying to get rid of that Texas County money. I don't know what the hell he wants. Well, you better hurry or we can just kiss that money goodbye. I love the way they talk. <laughs> he's holding his hat. <laughs> Uh-oh, this is not good. <laughs> Bandit, this here is the grave robber. <laughs> Put the pedal to the metal, good buddy, and we'll hold this county mountain as long as we can. Come on. Nice. I'm going, I'm going. I got the metal to the pedal and the thing to the floor. And... <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> they had a cremated the son of a bitch. I could have been kicking up Mr. Bandit's ass around the moon by now. <laughs> I thought he was about to stop them yeah. from going out. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> slide right on over. Just slide. Oh. <laughs> I think I'm in love. Come on, defense. Uh -oh. <laughs> Jesus. Get your hands off my wheel. Oh. Don't hit the cheerleaders. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, they've got some distance now. They could stop and they could switch seats. Can we watch, Daddy? Hey, you stay and watch, watch the game. I'm going back. <laughs> this man is literally six years old in an adult body. <laughs> and then the dad treats him like he's six years old. Yep. This guy's living the life. He doesn't have to worry about anything. Hey, there we go. And they finally got switched. Oh, yeah, I just, yeah. So he didn't even get to see it. <laughs> oh, now he gets to meet her. Oh, sorry, they didn't Oh. Switched. That was that scene. Again with the continuity. <laughs> you always run into complications. You know what the complications are. They always doing... She's fine. She can hang out. Nice ass. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Did Cletus call you a legend? Uh-huh. Well, I used to do some crazy things. I used to. I was on Broadway once for almost 12 minutes. <laughs> oh. Show closed the first night. God, I was so good. You should have seen me. You'd have loved me. <laughs> oh, the romantic oh, scene. Music. What do you do? I just go from place to place and do what I do best. Show off. 
Fritz, don't you make me come after you. Get you guys gotta hurry. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Look, I've gotta go 10 100. Could I have a dime? Crawl under. That would you, yeah. You have, <laughs> you, have to, you have to pay for toilets. That was a very common thing back really? then. Really? Yes. Oh my you gosh. Paid to get in the stall. Wow. I'm glad they don't do that. That's anymore. why I said crawl <laughs> under. <laughs> this is a bandit. Oh, I got a dead end. This is Shira. Oh my god, it's always the whole name. And I got a big welcome waiting for you when I get you back home, you some bitch. Don't you cuss on this here radio. Now here it is, you tick turd. <laughs> do the letters F O mean anything to you? Mad Alec. He's right there. <laughs> I'm assuming he meant fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what happened, Daddy? I feel bad for this guy. Holy shit. We got a lot of company up there. Hey, Rennie Roy. <laughs> I was born ready. <laughs> That's pretty good, don't you, Sarge? Just say about that. I love that they're just watching. <laughs> they really just get in their own wrecks. He doesn't even have to do anything. No. <laughs> the incompetent highway patrol. Yeah. I'd have been car sick by now, I'm sure. <laughs> That's not where you take your transo. Oh, gosh. <laughs> With T-tops. <laughs> no truck got there fast. Yeah. <laughs> I keep forgetting that the reason he's going after him is because so of his son. <laughs> And not because of the beer. <laughs> yes. He caused all of this. The bandit. Ain't he something? <laughs> You're going to wait in your grave. I got the evidence. Put the evidence in the car. <laughs> He's so, so loud. <laughs> He's so extra. <laughs> Put the evidence in the back. <laughs> There's no way. No way that you could come from my loins. As soon as I get home, the first thing I'm gonna do is punch your mama in the mouth. <laughs> that's horrible. I know, that's an old phrase. Is it? <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> it's just because he's being so stupid, so he's gonna take it out on her. Oh. <laughs> that's so mean. Lady, don't you know you're supposed to signal? I'm surprised she's okay. Call you the bandit. That's him singing again. The snowman, the snowman guy. Man. This is good music. Well, he was a country. He is a country singer. This is. Does he still? I think he only did one or two movies. He mostly was a country oh. singer. Everybody had stretchy jeans back then. And high waisted. Yes. They're trying to bring low rise back, and I'm not here for it. I never want to return to those days. Yeah, no truck stops, just pull in anywhere. That must have been really awkward to get to some places then. Or you'd have to like skip towns if there wasn't room. Yeah. Come on! Surprise! Look who's here! I knew you was coming. Oh, snowman. What do you mean you knew I was coming? <laughs> Did everyone have a radio for this? <laughs> I don't know. Fix the same thing. Just. 45 cents. 25 cents. No, I am not Hank Snow's brother. Another country singer. Oh. <laughs> I forgot you all talked to the operators first. Yes, if you're making long distance calls. Right. You like Elton John? No. No. <laughs> Richard Petty. NASCAR driver. Waiting Jennings. Country singer. Well, I know that name. <laughs> when you tell somebody something, it depends on what part of the United States you're standing in. That's just how dumb you are. Mr. Bandit, you have a lyrical way of cutting through the bullshit. And you have a unique way with the English language, Frog. And if I'm not mistaken, the two of them had something going on for a few years oh. while this movie was on. I think so. I'm not 100% we'll sure. Up. Well, they do have good chemistry. If we were lost on a desert island together, do you think we'd get along? And... Yeah, we'd get along. It'd never be boring, I can tell you that. I like his jewelry. Yeah. Take your hat off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look up their ages too. Is curious how old the actors are. Yeah. Don't hold on to him like that. Yeah. No, he didn't. Uh, Fred, come here, Fred. I said he no. just bit me. Fred absolutely don't like grease. <laughs> Let's go. No, 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 no. <laughs> At least the dog's okay. Those look like real injuries too. I'm sure it's 
yeah, makeup, makeup but yeah. still looks real. You know how many times <gasps> this scene has been done in movies? <laughs> Even the latest in Yellowstone season three. Oh, really? Yeah, it's the exact <laughs> same thing, just done a different way. <laughs> but this was the first. Probably, yeah. What the hell is this? A drive in movie? Oh, no. <laughs> That would get annoying so fast. Don't you know you can't drive a piece of shit like that on the highway? I happen to have my young son in the car, and I don't want to hear that kind of language. Look, I'm at- <laughs> He just nods. <laughs> Do you know who you're talking to? Oh my god, this guy. A distinguished officer of over 30 years seniority. Your face would just be covered in spit <laughs> after he talks. Please, sir, you proceed immediately and- Sir, I, I hope you'll accept my apologies for my profanity. Apology accepted. No. <laughs> so I feel like the movie was pretty pretty safe with every swear except the F word. Yeah. How'd you do, same as always? Yeah, not normal. I lost. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna really have to cook. Is that a 10 4? That's a big 10 4. We were together, oh, eight and a half days. God, I really thought that was it. One day I came home and found him in the shower with a girl and her mother. Well, at least he kept it in the family. <laughs> breaker one nine, breaker one nine. This is the bandit. Is that like a portable brothel? Yeah. A travel brothel? Yeah. <laughs> you were coming by and we decided we'd take care of those bears for you. You know, a little ah, nice. personalized service. Well, I'll catch you on, uh, on the flip side, uh, darling. I'm too pooped to pop. <laughs> too pooped to pop. Come on by, bandit. All right, you talk me into it. Nah, I got that some bitch, and I got him with his fly open. <laughs> you lucky? This giddy. This car four wheels. Black Trans Am. It's the bandit. I love how everyone knows him. Yeah. Well, he's a legend. Mm -hmm. I just mean like everyone across all these states. This is the bandit, son. Uh, can we slide right into your convoy there? Come ahead on, Bandit. We'll slip you into the rocking chair. Trucks, I love them. I love them. <laughs> they can see right down into this car, you know that? Well, so what? That's why I used to love to drive those trucks, darling. Spot those beavers. <laughs> Are they going to be that oblivious that they'll miss him? If you can't see it. Oh, yeah, okay. Because it's a furniture truck, so it's low. I gotcha. Sneaky! Thank you, Mr. B. I don't know how to thank you. You can thank me by not getting caught. Hey, Bandit, this is Little Beaver. Put your foot on the floor, we got your back door. And I'm cleared. That's a 10 4. I have just apprehended the Bandit. You just apprehended my captain. <laughs> Plus, he's not in his state. <laughs> this guy's truly above the law, or he thinks he's above the yeah. law. The guy kind of did look like an older bird, though. Hey, Bandit, hey, Bandit, listen to this. That's Mr. Evil Knievel. <laughs> so do you know who Evil Knievel is? I've heard the name so many times, So he but... was very popular in this era, because he used to jump buses, and he made a lot of big jumps off a motorbike. Uh, he jumped, tried to jump the Grand oh, Canyon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, yeah. I do right you was. I don't know what's doing miles now. <laughs> <laughs> She's so on board now. <laughs> yeah. Don't take your foot off of that hammer sign and bad about to fall over you like maple syrup. <laughs> I thought he was gonna tip over <laughs> when he was making the turn. But that's better. I wonder how many takes all this stuff took. Yeah. <laughs> over and over and over again until yeah, it was they wrecked just a lot right. Of cars. Oh, I bet. And then how many times to get that to happen? Yeah. Oh, I see the skid marks. I see all the skid marks. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Personal cheerleaders. You still working at that choke and puke on uh, West 85? Affirmative, affirmative. Listen, darling, we're gonna come screaming by there in about five minutes with a herd of Smokies on our ass. How about getting those pallies of yours out there and block them off? Woo, love to, love to, but hey, you're gonna owe me one. I love how everyone just talks in code, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Got like the 70s feathered hair. Mm hmm I love the 70s style. 80s is when the hair got twice the size.
can't get around the pass. <laughs> Boxing them in. <laughs> Clever idea. All units converge. I copy chopper one. I'm on my way. This is Trooper Baker. I'm heading for the fairground. We're really just not giving up. Hey, where the hell are we? Four miles to go, good buddy. Until they're back? Yeah. Oh, they gotta shit. be at the fairground. Oh yeah, right. I forgot. I forgot that's where they started. <laughs> Did you count on this? <laughs> no, no, I didn't. Honey. God damn it, son, we gave it our best shot. Whoa, Nagato, Nagato, what are you crazy, something? We come this far, ain't we? It's me they're after. They don't even know Clint of Snow exists. Well, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Split? So move over a little bit, good buddy, because the snowman is coming through. <laughs> Here they come! <laughs> I'm surprised Ooh. he didn't roll it. <laughs> Jeez. It took my turn fast. Oh, I like the yellow. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're in trouble. I know we're in trouble. Well, look, we need two things. We need a way out of here. We need the money. Well, here's my Cadillac. That'll leave me with an even dozen. Yeah, how about the money? How about double or nothing? You went up to Boston and bring back some uh, clam chowder for me and my daddy? Uh, You're on. <laughs> You're on. <laughs> Just quietly leave. Yeah. These two. Do what I tell you, you pile of monkey nuts! I love that they're just watching. <laughs> Sheriff, uh, Buford T. Justice, please. May I see you the goddamnest pursuit I ever pursued? <laughs> Where are you, you some bitch? Look over your left shoulder. <laughs> no hard feelings, Jason! I'm not giving up! Oh my gosh. This car is not gonna go. <laughs> He's bound down, loaded up and trucking. Anyway, well, that was fun. That was good. To yeah. watch it from start to end again, that's, there's some pretty good parts I forgot about. Yeah, like what? Some of the accident scenes. Uh, the part in the diner when he's ordering the sandwich right beside him. I oh, okay. totally forgot about that. Yeah. Of course, he doesn't know who he is at that point. Right. Yeah, it's that's pretty cool. And they wrecked a lot of cars. Mm -hmm. And I know this the second one because I've seen it too. Because I was just gonna ask if there was yeah. another one. Yeah, they did a second one and they wrecked way more cars in the second one. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot, a lot bigger, a lot more of that same type of stuff. When did that one come out? Uh, I don't know. I would say probably two, three years after. Nineteen eighty. Yeah, so three years after. Oh, and the same three. Oh, and him. And, and John, <laughs> yes. Awesome. And then Dom DeLuise, Pat McCormick, the big guy. Right, right. Jerry Reed was still in it. Would you, uh, would you recommend that one? Yeah, I haven't. Ooh, I can't <laughs> even remember what that one. Like, I remember a couple scenes from it because they're kind of iconic scenes, but I can't remember the whole movie on what happened. That's for sure. When it, was the last time you would have watched that? Oh, probably not much after it came out. Or <laughs> late '80s on TV. That's about it. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed that. Um, Burt Reynolds was great. That, I think I'm pretty sure that was my first. Burt Reynolds. Burt Reynolds. I, th I feel like I would have remembered him. Yeah, they said he was in Deliverance, the other one that we had talked about. Right. He's the main character in that. He's also well known for The Longest Yard. Oh, yeah. So when they okay. did the remake with, uh, can't think of the actor right but he played in the movie. Even like he though, came back in the remake. Yes, he came back in the remake as an old guy that had been in prison forever, but he was the main actor in the original and the football player that goes to jail. Gotcha. Cool. Yeah, Burt Reynolds was great. I loved Bandit. He was so fun and like a smooth talker too. Yeah. Like just really and clever. Just all, always knowing what to do and what to say. But it feels like they'd been doing that for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, Cletus, Snowman. <laughs> he was great. I really enjoyed him. Although like, I mean, the movie doesn't really focus on him because he doesn't no. really do much. But he's there to give the banter back. Right, right, right. You know, while they're driving. And, and he provided the music. Yes, yeah. yeah, he provided all the music. And then Sally was great. I really liked her. Uh, I just love that she, because I'm trying to think back now to the start of the movie, like she just, she was just on the side of the road. Yeah. And he just decided to, or she flagged him down. Yeah. And then. Yeah, because she was left there, or however she said it was. And yeah, yeah, he just comes up with the car and she just jumps in and take me wherever. No stranger danger. <laughs> no, 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 no stranger danger. <laughs> I need a ride. Get in. Yeah. Yeah, no, she was great. And, um, oh, let's look up the, um, yeah, Field and Reynolds dated for five years in the late 70s and early 80s after meeting on Smokey and the Bandit, had a tumultuous relationship, and as Field detailed in her 2018 memoir, In Pieces, which came out days after Reynolds' death, 
at the age of 82. <laughs> Her worst on-screen kiss, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Poor bird. Yeah, that's how I figured they were together for a while. Yeah, oh well, that's so cool. So it was because of this movie. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, that's happened so much with actors. Yeah. Ever, like, yeah, throughout still, all the decades, yes. yeah. It just happens. No, it was, it's, it's a fun movie, and it's a, a movie from that era of mid to late 70s into early 80s. Movies were short and entertaining to make you laugh and right. have some fun and waste waste an hour or two and continue on. There mm -hmm. was They weren't thinking of making sequels and threes and fours right. and making it continuous like that. Like, it wasn't really about the money aspect of that in that time. Right. Like, it was just, we want to do something fun. And if we make profit, then cool. But yeah. uh, but they weren't in it to make these, like, giant blockbuster no, type no, of movies. No, it was a fun movie. Now, they were probably decent movies back then and made some good money because of who he was at the time. And as popular as he was, just came to me now another movie along this same idea. Is I think in the 60s or late 60s, a movie came out called Cannonball Run. And it's about racing across the United States. They all, and it had a bunch of different actors from that time in. Uh, Burt Reynolds and Dom DeLuise remade it in it about this era or the early 80s. Mm. And it had all the who's who of male and female actors of that time. And they were all in it and it was the same thing. They raced across the United States as fast as they could get there. And Burt Reynolds is in the movie playing a paramedic with Dom DeLuise and they're racing in an ambulance and there's Lamborghinis oh, cool. in it. There's police cars in it. It's pretty <laughs> funny. You said the remake? Yeah, Cannibal. 1981. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah Burt Oh, Reynolds, Jackie Chan. Dom, Jackie Chan. Farrah Fawcett. Uh, Jim Moore, Farrah Fawcett, <laughs> Dean Martin. Uh, even more, there would be, yeah, Sammy Davis Jr. Like, that was the who's who of everything. Jamie Farr was in it, Adrian Barbeau. Like, if you're my age, Oh, I you recognize do, this guy, yeah, Jack. You will know all these. Terry Bradshaw, ex-NFL quarterback. Yeah, that's the type of talent you would get together for one movie. So you know there's no buddy in there that's going, well, I'll do it for $10 million and I'll do right. it for $5 million. Like Peter right. Fonda, Mel Tillis, country singer. Mm -hmm. And Mel Tillis was in it because he stuttered. He just doesn't stutter when he sings. He stutters oh, when he talks. Okay. So they played upon that for funny scenes. And it is another, it's a, it's comical, fast, and funny as what we just watched. Cool. I'm excited. I'm interested to see if anyone has, uh, no one has suggested it on my farm. I've yep. got a movie suggestion form yep. where people can send in, send in requests. Oh, yeah. We'll mark this one in as another dad, yep. dad request. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's a, it's a pretty fun movie. Yeah. Oh, what else? Yeah. Smoking Ben. I like that. Yeah. It was just, it was fun. And yeah. a lot of the shots are really great too. And, and I can't even imagine how many takes. I think the one with the car going on the back of the truck, the trailer, I feel like that probably would have taken. Yeah. And when you compare it to today's movies, they don't wreck anything like that because that would be all CGI. Computers are so good now, they would have. Well, and also that would just, I feel like that would almost be unnecessary costs. Yeah. Like when you think of all the cars you'd have to yeah. bring in, right? Yeah. You've got to pay for them. Yeah, that's right. And, so. all those, and they were pretty much all the same. But if you're Chris Nolan, then you would still wreck things. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I just it made it, I'm sure, you know, there was your jobs for your stuntmen and your stunt coordinators and all your other guys to make sure cars are spinning the right way and they're placed the right and they're getting hit the right way. Right. And, you know, all that kind of stuff so that it looks real, but nobody's getting hurt and they're falling in the water and they're falling off bridges and they're, that kind of stuff. And it's just like, his car never got wrecked. Right. Although some of the stuff they did with the car, I'm sure wrecked cars. Like, oh. Well, you know. But, but they just, probably had multiple Trans Ams like, yeah. ready to go, all looking yeah. exactly the same. Yeah, and I, if I'm not mistaken, because he just passed away in 22, they gave him one for being in the movie. Wait, who? Burt? Burt Reynolds. Oh, he just passed away last year? Yeah. Oh. And uh, when they uh, gave him one, I believe he had put it aside, and if I'm not mistaken, it just went to auction for a while. But I could be wrong. Cool. But yeah, that was the car that came out, and then all of a sudden, everybody that were Chevy fans wanted to have one of those. <laughs> Oh, I bet. <laughs> or sorry, Pontiac. Yeah, yeah. Because you had the Pontiac trans -act. We had two that still underneath the same umbrella. But I'll probably get some comments on that that I'm not 100% correct. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> was the Camaro, like, interest in it from another movie? A different one? Like, was um, there a big yeah, movie that... There, well, no, I'm not... Mm, I can't think of one, right? Lots of cars have done well 
because of movies. This one really took off because of this. Because if I'm not mistaken, that was the first time anybody had really seen one. And of course, it is the entire focal point of it. Right. So when you think of it now, in today's time, if somebody wanted to do that with a car, it would be the smartest thing to do to launch your car and get it. You have it in a full two-hour movie, and the whole thing was about as much the car and what the car could do as the people that were in the movie. Right. But there hasn't really... I mean, I feel like movies movies aren't like this anymore. No. No. At all. <laughs> they're all about story now. Yeah. <laughs> and they make you think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're not Unless just... they're superhero movies. But even those still have, like, crazy story to them and, and stuff. Yes. But... Yeah, they do. Yeah. yeah. But everything just seems to be so far-fetched now. This is more to... You could see this happen. Right. Yes, they were speeding and everything else and caused havoc, but there was no accidents. Well, police with chases other still happen. Yes, but like there was no chases. accidents with everybody else. It was just the police that kept getting it. They right. made fun of, you know, how idiotic police officers and incompetent. Are. Yes, yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, right? and silly. Yeah. yeah, right from the get go. I don't know if you watch the reviews of my videos, but. Like when you watch oh. my reactions, you probably no. exit right as soon as I'm done watching. Because I talk yeah. for a bit. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so what I do in my videos is I go to letterbox.com, which is like a, it's like a movie logging and review website. Okay. So anyway, I always come in and I pull up the movie that I just watched and I go through some of the reviews that people have left. But a lot of people like, it's not like thorough reviews. A lot of people just say really humorous and quippy things about. So anyway, I like coming into Letterboxd to, uh, to see. <clears throat> anyway, now it's that time of the review where I go to Letterboxd to check some reviews about what people have said about Smoking the Bandit. So here we go. <laughs> Chicken soup in cinematic <laughs> form. <laughs> yep, good for what all ails you, right? Uh, Makes you laugh. Here. It's We're going to put that in. <clears throat> Yeah, a movie that's so good they didn't even bother to end it. <laughs> Four and a half star review by uh, a, a person, a username. <laughs> Three star review by Josh. The boys are thirsty. Yeehaw, I could listen to a 10 hour mm. loop of that laugh. Yes. <laughs> I just taught Z how to do this like no. two days ago. I asked him to take a screenshot of something. He's like, how do I do that? <laughs> Four and a half star review by Patrick. Burt Reynolds said, all cops are bastards. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Cab. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's so good. Some bitch is something I really must say more often. Yeah. Some bitch. <laughs> Some bitch. <laughs> yeah, that one's a pretty, like, thorough review. Like, some people use this website to, like, really, yeah. really yeah. review. But then other people just put, like, little, little quippy things, which I just love. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was exactly my reaction to that. <laughs> I was like, whoa, what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh the 70s were a different time. <laughs> yeah, they were. All right. And now we're at the time of the video where I turn it to you and look forward to your comments down below. Please let me know what you liked about this reaction and also let me know what you think about this movie. What do you love about Smokey and the Bandit? Do you, are you someone that loves it too? Let us know. And if you don't care for this movie, I'd also like to know why. Leave your comments down below. And this time include a car or a police car emoji in your comments so that I know that you're still watching as I'm saying this right now. And finally, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you to my dad for yeah, agreeing to come on to my YouTube channel with me. It's so funny because you never wanted to come on my Twitch stream <laughs> in three years. <laughs> Yep. And then he's like, I'll come watch the movie with you for your YouTube channel. I'm like, okay. I <laughs> so got thank to watch you. the movie. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. And please let me know down below if you either want my dad back for another movie in the future. Or if you want to see my mom or my brother join me on the channel. I know my brother really wants to watch a movie with me here on the channel at some point. So let us know down below. And with that, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to everyone for being subbed here on YouTube. And thank you so much to everyone over on Patreon for the financial support as well. And we're going to be taking a quick break on the channel. I'm not uploading anything next week, but we'll meet you back here on Monday, May 8th for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. And with that, if you're not yet subbed to the channel, please click here to do so. And if you want to continue watching something of mine, click on over probably there. <laughs> anyway, thank you all so, so much, and we'll see you in the next reaction. Take care!